The Battle of Gettysburg was fought from July 1st through July 3rd, 1863, and was the bloodiest battle of the American Civil War. Between 46,000 and 51,000 men were killed, wounded, captured, or missing after three days of bloody fighting, so it's no surprise that Gettysburg is said to be very haunted. Today we're going to take a look at three main hauntings at Gettysburg and see why Gettysburg is known as America's most haunted battlefield. The Daniel Lady Farm was used as a Confederate Army's field hospital during the battle. Soldiers who suffered from artillery wounds were brought to the farm to recover or to suffer through the final moments of their lives. It was also the site where the attack on Culp's Hill was staged, and many men who lined up on the farm's grounds would not make it back alive. The farmhouse and barn saw their share of ghastly horror as well. The ghosts of General Ewell and his corps still reportedly haunt the farm to this day. Today there are claims of phantom voices, the smell of gunpowder, and seeing ghost soldiers isn't common in and around the farm. Little Round Top was a key part of the Union defensive position during the battle and was a site of some of the heaviest fighting. General Meade ordered General Sickles and his third corps to defend Little Round Top, but Sickles decided to move his men down the hill and into the peach orchard. Meade quickly called in his reserves to help Sickles, who was about to be flanked, and overseeing the end of the flank was the 20th Maine Infantry. After fighting off attacks by Confederate line infantry, the 20th Maine, after running out of ammunition, made a brave charge down the ridge and routed the Confederate soldiers. It makes sense that people have seen the spirits of soldiers from the 20th Maine wandering around, as well as hear sounds of battle going on. During the battle, it is rumored that the ghost of General George Washington himself appeared to soldiers twice during the battle, once to point them in the direction to go, and second time during the fighting to spur them on. People have seen ghost soldiers, heard cannon fire, and have even spoken to people they thought were reenactors but were actually ghost soldiers the whole time. Whenever anyone brings up Ghosts of Gettysburg, it isn't long before Devil's Den is mentioned. Some people claim a bloody battle between Native American tribes was fought here, but many people refute this, although Native American artifacts have been found in the area. Over 2,000 men died fighting for this little den, and many of those soldiers that died never left. The spot was known to be haunted long before the battle, and soldiers even reported that it felt eerie during the battle. The name more than likely came from a large snake that eluded hunters for years and supposedly they named the snake the Devil because they can never catch it, and this area became known as Devil's Den. People have claimed to hear Native American war drums, Civil War music, gunfire, and there are many claims of people being approached by what looks to be reenactors and talking to them for a short while before the soldier disappears into thin air. Out of all the locations in Gettysburg that claim to be haunted, this is the location I want to investigate the most. So those were three locations in Gettysburg on the battlefield that are said to be haunted. Which location was the scariest to you and which one would you investigate first? I want to thank you all for watching the video. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy the video, comment your favorite location or what you think would be the scariest and subscribe for more. But from Fife Paranormal, I'm Jake. Have a great day everyone.